so good good afternoon and I'm here today to give you a little demonstration about how to do graffiti style lettering um, I'm going to show you some ways that you can make block letters and bubble letters and you, you can stylize your letters and how to kind of make your designs look three-dimensional um, all you'll need today is a pencil that's been sharpened a regular pencil is fine a mechanical pencil whatever and an eraser and it just happens that my my uh, pencil sharpener has decided not to work today so I have one pencil that's sharp and one that has a good eraser on it so we're going to start by just simply putting our name down in and printing it out very lightly and this is key because we're going to want to get rid of these lines eventually but this is going to help us with our spacing and how big we want to make the lettering so i'm going to draw really lightly and i'm going to use my last name since it has only five letters and i'm just going to do kind of regular uppercase letters and space them kind of close make them big enough that you can work easily with them now that I have that I'm going to make a block letter out of it and block letters are simply letters that have squared off ends basically on them so I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna put ends on my G the rest of my G is curved except for right here so I'm gonna follow the curve around my letter come up here and then I'll turn and make the little the little topper on the on the G going this way go around and there I have my my G that I could color in okay now I said I wanted I wanted to make these kind of close because graffiti lettering is usually not separate letters they kind of overlap each other so now I'm going to let this A kind of go behind my G. So I'm going to make it coming out from behind. A line at the top. Line down the side. Bar at the bottom. And then I have the opening of the letter. There's a bar in the middle. So I'm going to put a line below that bar. And then I'm going to just mirror the inside of it by making a little triangle. L's pretty easy. Doesn't have to be exact. Now Y, because it slants, I'm going to put some bars at the ends of it and do diagonal lines. Just keep your lines fairly straight. You don't have to draw them with a ruler. Just, just wing it. So now, if nothing else, you have learned how to spell my name. And believe me, it gets spelled wrong a lot. So now I'm going to take my eraser and just go in there and take out that first lettering I drew. I call that the skeleton of the letter because it kind of holds the letter up until we get the, the bubbled part of the letter made or the thick part of the letter made. And now I have a really nice word that I could use color inside the letters. I could outline it with Sharpie if I wanted to, whatever. So next I'm going to do some bubble letters. Now bubble letters are, I'll just do a couple here. I'll do the G. And again, I'm just going to print typical letters as if I were printing out my name. But for bubble letters, they're usually rounded instead of squared off at the end. So we'll just start with a rounded end and follow it around. And then I'll round this and then follow the inside around. Same with the A, we'll go around all the outside of it first. And then for the A inside, since it's a bubble letter, maybe we can just do a little circle there. So you can see how these would go very easy. And you just keep going, going with that. And again, go back then and take out that skeleton 
the first letter. So that's why it's important to draw that very lightly. I say draw light until you get it right because that way you can easily erase. Okay, now let's look at gra graffiti lettering is more stylized than this. It has, uh, if you see the ones on the trains, they are very um, difficult to read sometimes or tell what the letters actually are. So you can get a little crazy with them. I'm gonna, I'm going to make my G normal, but then I'm gonna play around with them a little bit. Let's do some upper and lower case letters mixed together. So this gets a little more interesting. Now with graffiti lettering, these bars and these ends do not have to be rounded. You can do it this way if you like it, but you can also play around with other ways of designing your letters. So let's do some, okay, I've decided I'm gonna do something a little bit different here. I'm gonna do curves on the ends that curve in. Then I'm gonna do some straight lines, kind of go around it with straight lines instead of curves. And let's do the same over here with the A. Kind of go around that with straight lines. Mix it up a little bit. And maybe the inside will be a triangle. So now you can continue to do that and you can go back, take out that beginning of the letter and you have a letter that's almost more graffiti-like and then you can play more with that even. You can add little things like, maybe you add some little shapes on the outside of your letters or you make each uh, ending of your letter an arrow or a star. Let's do one on the, um, do an arrow going up for the for the L. And we'll do an arrow going over here. So see how you can you can change it up. Now you can also make your letters look 3D. And making them 3D is a little bit tricky, but uh, there are a lot of tutorials online about how to do this. But if you go up here to, to my K, I can show you on the K pretty easily. We're gonna start at each corner of the K and we're gonna pick a side. We're gonna to go towards the right and we're gonna put out parallel lines from each corner, oops, and here. And then we're gonna connect those parallel lines that are at the end here keep this line, our new line parallel to the letter itself. So here, we're gonna go over here and make a line, and here, we're gonna go over here and make a line. Then if I just connect up, I've made a letter that has kind of a 3D look. It's a little tricky. This one maybe should show a little bit here. And then you could color that. I'll do a little bit with pencil, but you could add color there a different color than the front of the letter to make it look more, to give it a more 3D look. So it's just simply going out from the edges, from the corners, and then running parallel down to the letter and the bottom. So you're kind of drawing it into a cube. Now, like I said, there are lots of tutorials out there to kind of show you how to do that. Um, I'll see if I can find one to post for you. But that gives you a little idea of how that works. Um, you can add designs to your letters. Like you could go through, and I'm kind of hurrying here, but say I have my design drawn out and I like it and I've erased my insides. And then maybe I want for something different, instead of coloring the letters, maybe I want to make them all have kind of a pattern through them. So I could go through and make a line that waves across. 
and the bottoms by letters could have some kind of a pattern in them. Tops could be solid or whatever when I decide to use color. And you can use color, uh, you can use markers, you can use um, colored pencils, you can use both on your letters. And so you see how you can make them a little more interesting just by adding some pattern to it. Maybe this stripe becomes a double stripe and we color that with some other color too. So as I see, I am kind of working fast here so that you get the hang of it uh, and can get started. Now remember, your sketchbook's a little bit bigger than this one, so be, uh, you can draw them, you don't have to draw them big, we're just kind of practicing how we want to do it. Then we're going to make it bigger, like on a full size sheet of paper. So have fun practicing experimenting with graffiti. You can also look online for some graffiti techniques if you want, uh, and I'll be excited to see what you come up with.